Hello everyone. So this will be my first video. And as I said, uh, these videos, these short videos will be the part of the discussions. And uh, I want to start from the section 2.1.8. And the name of the section is about our functions. And before starting any technical discussion, I want to stress on some definitions, but I guess by now all of you know about these definitions, but I just want to make the level playing ground the same for everyone. So that's why I'm just stating uh, these definitions. So my first, defi uh, first definition will be what is Hermitian operator? Hermitian operator. So Hermitian operators are those operators which, uh, which are equal to it's self adjoint. So if A is equal to it's self adjoint A dagger, then this operator is called the Hermitian operator. And then in this section, they talk about the normal operator. It's defined in an earlier section of this book. And the normal operators are those operators uh, which satisfies this particular condition. M, M dagger is equal to M dagger M. And if this is the case, then M is called the normal operator. And what is unitary operator? Unitary operator are those operators which satisfies this condition. U, U dagger is equal to identity matrix. So now what is inner product? Actually, inner product is uh, needed uh, to define the positive operator and the positive definite operator. They talked about these two particular things in this section, so that's why I'm defining inner product. So if we have a vector V and vector W on a vector space, then inner product of these two vectors are defined as V comma W and we usually write this uh, like this v bra vector v k multiplied by k vector uh, w so here v is in the first position so we just dual the v k vector and uh, take the bra bra vector bra v vector and just multiply it like this so this is the inner product now what is a uh, positive operator What is positive operator? Actually, uh, my professor called it professor, uh, positive semi-definite. So I'm used to tell this positive semi-definite and then uh, the positive definite is called the same, the positive uh, definite. But I mean, okay, just let me explain what I am saying. So a positive operator, a positive operator, A is defined to be an operator such that for any vector V, the inner product between V, A, V is real and non negative. That means uh, V A 
p is greater or equal to zero. So that's the definition. But usually, if you Google uh, and write what is positive semi-definite operator, uh, and uh, then it will answer you this particular statement. I mean, why I'm calling semi-definite? Because look, uh, if it's greater equal than zero, then uh, usually it's called semi-definite and semi-definite. And if it's greater than zero only, no equal sign, then it's called de positive definite. So that's the nomenclature I'm used to it. But in this book, they tell it uh, just the positive operator. But let me tell you what is uh, positive semi-definite. A matrix, if you Google it, then you will find this uh, definition, a matrix. Is positive semi definite if all of its eigenvalues. are non-negative. That means if A's are its eigenvalues, then if this is the condition, that means A is greater or equal to zero, then this matrix is called the positive semi-definite. But it, if it is strictly greater than zero, then this is called positive definite. And these are called positive semi-definite. Semi-definite. So sometimes they are just abbreviated like this, PSD, and these are called PD. So positive semi-definite and positive definite. But in this book, they just call it like positive operator. Uh, okay. Uh, same thing, but in different words. And uh, look, how this particular statement is different than this. Actually, there is no difference. I think this definition is even more rigorous. So they are stating the same, but th this is more mathematical, I think. I mean, they are uh, given giving this uh, definition uh, in terms of inner products. So, what is positive definite in terms of uh, by the language of this book? Uh, if this inner product, which inner product, if uh, we have a vector v and if we have an operator a and it's acting on this operator, this vector v, then if this inner product is strictly greater than zero, then this is called positive definite. Uh, well, now these are the definitions and there is another definition I can tell uh, spectral decomposition. I mean, what is spectral decomposition? Well, let me write because this term is also used in this section, spectral decomposition. Uh, well, let me see the script first, because I mean, there is a theorem regarding this spectral decomposition in the book. And uh, they specifically talked about a particular definition and I'm just writing this definition. Any 
normal operator m on a vector space v is diagonal with respect to some orthonormal basis for V. Conversely, any diagonalizable operator is normal. So this is the kind of theorem uh, they're given in the uh, page uh, 72. I'm just stating it, but uh, for now just uh, stick to the topic and these are the definitions and based on these definitions i am gonna start the technical discussion for this sections for this section so see you in the next video